beautiful. Uh, in your personality, in your life, and you're like that can either help you or hurt you in this process. And some people's music sort of represents the torment of their life, and some people's music represents the purity of their vision. But it's all has different effects on people in some sort of strange and bizarre way. Yeah, I, I like to say that uh, you know the songs. I was talking about the. I forget what I was talking about this, but uh, I like songs that allow you to take ownership of them and, and make them personal to you. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I and I like listening. And I think that's probably what we all like about songs. Eventually, is our ability to relate to them, but also they be, and and they become like a, I can I can write a song and I can play a song on a stage. But it doesn't really mean anything until somebody listens to it, and then their, uh, you know, perception of what that song is about in relation to them comes back at us, you know, on a stage, or it, it comes, or it lives in the world that way, and and that's so cool to me. That's the, that's the, that's the thing that makes a song complete. I don't feel like they're even done until somebody listens to it and attaches to it. Right. That's that's the thing that I love so much about songs. Yeah, and everybody's thing is different too, right? It's like you can have two songs that are the exact same song, but they're sung by different people and they have a completely different feeling. Like some certain covers, you listen to certain covers, you're just like, whoa. Just has it, it just hits you in a totally absolutely. different way. Yeah, absolutely. But and and then the other side of that is, you know, two different people can listen to the same version of a song and it means totally different things to them. Yeah. Because they attach the the pieces of their life to it in a way that is unique to them. And that's that's the coolest thing in the world. Yeah, it's interactive in some sort of a weird way, right? Yeah, absolutely. And if it's not, it's it's nothing exists. What I mean by like sometimes people's music represents sort of the torment that's going on in their own personal... Uh, what I was thinking specifically of was Amy Winehouse. Mm -hmm. Like I was a big Amy Winehouse fan. And there's something about she that... She's great. Fucking phenomenal. And something about that rehab song... Because she put that rehab song out when everyone knew she was a mess. Right. And, and then she still, you know, like, they try to make me go to rehab. I right. said no. She made it sound no, happy. No. Yeah. She's like, fuck it. I'm riding this thing right into the beach. Right. I'm not stopping for the rocks. Right. I'm hitting the throttle. We're going to yeah. see where this goes. It was tragic, but it yeah. produced, produced some, some phenomenal music, no doubt. Yeah, there was something to it. There was like almost a fatalistic acceptance of her own fate or something like well and we can listen to it in that perspective now that she's yeah. not with us anymore but you know at the time it, it's you know it, it, it was a lot of teenage angst sounding, yeah sounding, almost sounding, celebratory yeah it, right. it, it felt celebratory at the time on the other side of 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 the tragedy of it uh, it, it has a little more weight i think yeah yeah for sure but i mean man if you stop and think about how many tortured souls put out unbelievable music oh i think it's uh you know to some degree some of the greats you know it's almost like a requirement that they are a little bit out there <laughs> yeah you know and, and so um which is it's it's a horrible thing <laughs> right for the them but it's a beautiful thing for the rest of us who get to listen to it yeah right oh, man it's just the uh, i mean just to be an artist in any form Right, it requires all this vulnerability and just trying to, trying to find whatever it is when you're trying to create something. Where, where is that coming from? The ether, the muse. It's trying to just find that thing, and then when you're dealing with your own personal demons, like especially the deep drug demons, seem to produce some of the most insane music ever. You know, you think of Hendrix and Kurt Cobain. And, Absolutely. And you keep going down that list forever, really. Yeah. And and, and I, have, I have a songwriter friend who, who is convinced that you can't really produce something that is, you know, really noteworthy unless you have some kind of a, an addiction issue. <laughs> so, really? Yeah. Uh, but uh, I don't know if that's true. But, you know, if you, you're saying that very thing, you know, like yeah. you look back at, uh, you know, history of rock and roll and. Music in general, you know, there's a lot of heavy drugs and a lot of, uh, you know, getting out there on the edge yeah. that has, in fact, produced some of the greatest music that we've ever heard. You also can hear it in the music. Like Stevie Ray Vaughan's a great example. You, like, hear the getting out there on the edge in the music. Absolutely. You you hear it with every ounce of everything in it. 
Yeah, it's like there's no safety net in that kind of music. There's just, just, it's just all raw. Yep. Absolutely. You got a crazy life, man. It's a crazy way to make a living. It is a crazy way. You must to make be a super living. happy. <laughs> well, I don't have any of those issues. I don't know. What I you're know, but I mean, <laughs> but you don't have to have any of those issues. I don't think that you have to have an addiction issue to be great. I just think you just have to pursue it. Yeah. You know. Well, maybe maybe the addiction. I mean, there's there can be healthy addictions. Mm-hmm. I, I think that's true. I think everybody. That's a good way to look at it. I, most people uh, that I meet that are successful in one way or another, they have at the very least kind of obsessive tendencies about something right uh whether and generally it's some part of the work but uh yeah it's uh and and focus i, I see a lot of focus like this kind of super focused thing that uh when you when you see certain people you're like oh that's why he can do that yeah he, he, or she can do that that they have this ability to focus yeah there's a I've always been amazed too when someone can take an instrument and make that instrument sound very specific to them. Like Gary Clark Jr. is another good example of that. Like, um, see if you can find that video that I've put up on my Instagram way back when with Honey Honey. Uh, Honey Honey and Gary Clark Jr. performed this really tiny place in downtown LA about maybe a year ago. And uh, they did a midnight set on like a Wednesday night or some shit. And, uh, Gary Clark is up there doing the Almond Brothers Midnight Rider. Like, listen to this. And he, it's. That's, that's him. You know what I'm saying? Like, that sound? That's him. That's a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Like, that is him. Well, well that, that is him, but it's also everybody that's before him. Oh, yeah. You know, that, that, and he's probably the one guy that we have uh, in modern times that really can, can carry that torch, you know, yes. uh, for the blues and, and, you know, all those great, uh, you know, great guitar players uh, that we don't have a lot of them left, you know, like. Um, I mean, he, he he can do that, and, and and that's real kind of you know BB King approach, you know, just playing some real straight line stuff. But then he can he can do Hendrix and all you know, be crazy and psychedelic too. He can do any of that. Yeah, and that's you know that guy shines when you when you step on a stage with him. You know, it's uh, I, we play we played he and I and Bonnie Raitt played a BB King tribute on the Grammys a few years back and. That was intimidating because, you know, <laughs> and, you know, Bonnie Raitt's excellent in her own way. You know, like she has she has that thing just like he has where it's, it's just like those, those people are uh, they're special people. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. And there's something about them that like what Hunter was saying, that they're fuel. Like I saw that and I, I ran home and I wrote I wrote for like three hours. Yeah. So I just was pumped up. I just I just felt like. Like I'd seen something, you know, like, like I, I just, I touched some new dimension. You listen, you listen to a lot of Freddie King. You're listening to Freddie King. No. Oh no, man. You're going to write this down too. <laughs> I'm going to start writing down. You got to get on Freddie King. Freddie King. What, what kind of shit is he? He's blues. Yeah. 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 He's, he's not with us anymore, but, oh, uh, you know, there's BB King, Albert King and Freddie King and. I never heard of Freddie. Oh, uh, well, you've probably uh, you ever seen that show uh, Eastbound and Down? Yeah. You know the theme theme song at the front of that? Yeah. That's Freddie King. Oh. Okay. But there's there's when I love Freddie King. <laughs> there, yeah. There's a there's a there's a wealth of, of fuel if you want some. Yeah. Uh, and Freddie King. That's that's a pretty uh, standard staple of of listening for me. If I, I want if I want to turn something on and let it make me feel right. Freddie King. Freddie King. I got a John Lee Hooker problem. When okay. I start thinking about blues, 
I just listen to John Lee Hooker. I have so much John Lee Hooker on my phone. I have no room for other people. Oh, you got you got to get you got to get some Freddie King in there. All right, I'll get some Freddie King in there. But when I when I'm tired and I don't feel like working out, I put boom 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 on. All right, and woo, here we go. We're off to the races. It's just uh, something about those types of songs, you know, that deep blues. It's just got this extra special soul to it. You know, there's just a f you're in, sort of immersed in the feeling yeah. of those people. You yeah, know, yeah, it's uh, it's heavy duty stuff, man. 